Hello guys, this is your boy Dylan here, and thank you guys for dropping by to my new video. Today's video is going to be about how to jailbreak the PS3 slash upgrade to the current version 4.80. If you guys are having any problems, this will be a very simple and easy tutorial. I'm going to guide you guys right through the process, and it's going to go smooth. I'm going to show you how to safely copy it to your USB, and then going applying it to the PS3 itself. So I'm going to get the website in the description below. So if you are on a developer build such as Rebug, I will have the Rebug. If you're using a what they call a Sex C E X firmware, that'll be Ferox currently what I've been using in the past. But now that I'm on Rebug, so much better develop build. It's amazing. So please stay tuned guys. Here we go. All right, so to do this, you will want to jump on your computer and go to whatever internet browser you prefer. You got Microsoft Edge or Firefox. I just go right with Firefox. It makes it easier for me that way. So I'm gonna go ahead, jump on Firefox here. Just typically, yeah, my homepage is Google. All right, the website you're gonna want to go to is just go right to the address bar and type in rebug.me just like that how it's popping up it says official rebug right here at cobra you can click that too if you want just go to the website itself let it load up here and then it'll pop up with rebug this is how to get the one i was talking about earlier the developer one this ain't the ferox ones if you're looking for that i will get you to a different site but i'm just doing the tutorial on how to copy this one over because i've already done this and it's the easiest way so I simply click on the official rebug okay it has all your information you can read about it from the previous version see what's new since the oldest version and you got 4.80.1 you scroll way down to the bottom of the page you got rebug rex edition i have the d rex edition which is the developer the the dex version so you want to click on that it's going to just have you download it and just save the file i already saved the file before so i'll just do it again though see it created a one but so once it opens i'll just go to my documents and i'll show you guys so i'll go to downloads here and it's right here so i have two copies so i can just go ahead and delete this though but so you want to go ahead open up that winrar file it's going to be a text document you want to open that and then simply see DREX. There's the version for whatever for your PS3. You just want to go ahead, copy this link, close that out, and then go here. I just do like a new page, and then you go paste and go. Now it's going to say you want to save the file. So once that saves, give it about a little bit to download. It takes about 30 seconds. According to my internet, it likes to go pretty quick. So for 200 megabytes like that's insane but once this is done the next step is then when you're going to want to go ahead and insert your usb so once this is finished okay now that's that now that that is done close that out i just leave these here for the hell of it but now i look for right here i already have the rebug right here but i just want to go ahead and show you guys that i downloaded this i'm going to use this one as my thing so now this is the part we're going to go plug your usb in let this load up it is formatted so it is clean nothing's on it I already formatted it brand new usb you want to make sure you do that every time before you install new software for whatever you're doing just to make it easier i just find it a lot you know helpful for me but you want to go ahead once you're on your usb drive here go to new create folder and go ps3 now click on the ps3 inside of that one go another new folder and go update now from there click one more time now take this ps3 version let this copy over to the USB. This will take some time, so here we go.
Okay, once this is now copied over onto your USB, you want to go ahead and edit the file. Simply just get rid of everything that's in front of it until it says ps3 update.pup. Now, just to verify that it's on there, I'll just go back to PC. Here's your USB drive. Click on that. Yeah, PS3. Update. And there's your file. Now, this part we will move on to the console itself now. So simply, when you remove the USB, go to eject to safely unmount it so you don't just unplug it out of nowhere and you could corrupt your file. So now that I just safely removed it, I will now go into my PS3. Alright guys, so now that we are up in my room, right in front of the PS3, now I'm going to show you how to install the software. So here you go, simply want to turn on the PS3 here, let it boot up, and this is a rebug like I said before, so it'll load up with rebug right there. There you go, what's new and everything. So now I'm gonna go grab my USB, plug it into the first USB port, let it load up. And then you wanna go to system update. Go update via storage media. So before I did this, if you guys have the same version, this is what happened to me. I had to go to debug settings here. You guys will have this if you have the rebug version. So you want to go to debug. I had to go to boot mode and I had to be on release mode. I have just seen this that it was at system software mode before and it has to be release mode now. So now, now that it's at release mode, I simply just go back, go to system update, I go to via storage media. And there it pops up. Let me focus on here. 480.1. See? PS3 update 480.1. So now I got that. I'm going to simply go ahead, update. Copy. Alright guys, so once it is back up and running after that long ass update, I will go ahead, now go down to system settings here, go down, go to system information, and boom, 4.80, don't mind about that IP address, that's not going to be important, but 4.80 now is what you want. That's exactly what you want to be on. Now if I go back down to debugger, the debug settings here, 
it's still on release mode, so good. You can go ahead if you want to change it back to system, system software mode, you can. Otherwise, I just leave it right where it's at. Other than that, this is it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That's all I got for now. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. There will be more of these videos where that came from. And I'll see what my next plan is for the next video. If you guys have any suggestions, shoot me a message. Let me know in the comments below. And from there on, that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching. See ya.